Solar Aries. This is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of September 2016. The first card for you is representing your condition at present. Your card is the Hermit. At this time you may desire to spend your personal life, do something you like and have more time to be with yourself. You may be feeling bored with things and people around you and want to isolate yourself from all of your friends, family and relatives. Besides, it means that you may further your study in master degree, or study astrology, religion or philosophy to have more insight in leading your life. For work, you may work alone, and not get involved with others. For finance, you will have much money left as you are not enthusiastic to spend. The Hermit also reflects that you are engaging in a period of soul searching. You want to seek the truth at all costs. You desire a new direction in life and, as a result, have recently begun a journey of self-discovery and contemplation. There comes a point in life when we begin to question the status quo, knowing that there is a deeper meaning to life, and thus, we begin to search for it. This search is mainly a solitary quest because the answers do not lie in the external world but within us. This card also indicates a time when you seek solitude and isolation from others. You need to be alone and you want to withdraw from the world around you. This is so that you can retreat further into your own private world and experience a deep sense of seclusion. Through meditation, contemplation and self-examination, you may begin to re-evaluate your personal goals and change your overall direction. You will look at your life with a deeper, more spiritual understanding and will begin to change some of your priorities as a result. There is a certain level of spiritual attainment that is associated with the Hermit. This card also suggests that you need to develop the true power of a spiritual master through deep introspection. Be content with being alone or associate only with those on your level. Do not waste time and energy on those not ready or not worthy. The second card for you is representing the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is The Fool Your projects or plans may not be in a good shape as expected. There may be some obstacles that affect and delay your expectation, or provide you with a different outcome. For work, you will have an opportunity to learn new things but be careful of making unintentional mistakes. You should work more carefully. For finance you may take a chance on something but it is not certain that you will earn money. Thus, you should be well planned so that you will not run short of money. If you are single, you may unexpectedly find someone coming into your life but be careful of hasty decisions. This card also cautions you about potentially being taken advantage of or entering into a deal where you do not fully understand the consequences of your decisions. If you are offered an opportunity that seems too good to be true then it probably is. It is really important that you do almost a due diligence on the opportunities presented to you to ensure that you are making the right choice and not simply going with the most enticing offer at the time. Be prepared for the challenges that lie ahead so that you are not taken by surprise. Do your research and make sure you are well prepared for critical events such as job interviews, applications, presentations and meetings. Moreover, you might not want to be placed in a work situation where you are completely out of your depth and have no clue what you are doing. You want to feel at least competent that you know what you need to do and you most certainly do not want to look like the fool or the newbie on the block. Even if you have not been in the workforce for a little while, you want to be respected for your experience to date and do not want to have to start at square one again. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is, the wheel of fortune. 
you will think of your future and success. For work, you will have motivation to be successful in your life. Thus, you will be very enthusiastic and as a result, your boss will recognize your effort. You may receive an opportunity in work, have progress and success. During this time, try not to be in conflict with your boss as he is the certain one to support you. For finance, your financial situation is getting better. You will have a chance to receive a lump sum of money or have a financial luck, or you may involve with inheritance. This card also suggests that you should not simply stand still and accept what life hands you. You can take an active hand to try and remain on the upside of the wheel. When things are down, instead of waiting and hoping for things to get better, you can work actively towards improving your situation, thereby speeding up the recovery process. Finally, the wheel asks you to not become discouraged when faced with adversity. Adversity is a natural part of life and should be expected from time to time. The fact that bad times happen should not worry you. Accept them as natural and not necessarily indicative of problems. Instead, look for ways in which you can face and conquer the adversity. If it cannot be addressed, then that might be taken as a suggestion of a problem. The Wheel of Fortune suggests that there are external factors that are influencing your situation that may be unknown to you or outside of your control. It is as though the universe is just dishing up whatever it pleases at this time, and it can feel quite unpredictable and unnerving as a result, especially if you like being in control most of the time. This is one of the challenging aspects of the Wheel of Fortune since no matter which way the Wheel of Fortune turns, it is impossible to try and change it. So, you might as well try to accept what is happening and adapt accordingly. If a crisis seems inevitable, recall that in every crisis lies opportunity. When you have been pushed in a new direction, know that every path leads somewhere, even if you do not know where it is. Such events are simply out of your control, and if you can accept that then the ride gets a lot easier. If you struggle against the wheel it will crush you. So just go with the flow. This card is also about keeping optimistic and having faith in the universe that it will take care of the situation in the best way possible. You need to remain optimistic yourself, thinking positively and keeping as upbeat as possible. Through meditation and visualization, the Wheel of Fortune can assist and reinforce your intention to bring increased abundance, good fortune and prosperity into your life. This archetype allows your life to turn in more positive directions if you are willing to grow and expand. This is also a lucky time in life when you are sensing the action of fate and destiny working in your favor. You may even be witnessing miracles or a very fortunate series of events. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is. The Nine of Cups. You may have had a happy life in the past. Your family may have taken a good care of you or your family's financial background was so strong that you could live an easy life without any difficulty. If you are unemployed or seeking a new job, do not take it too easy or become inactive as it may take time to get a new job. For finance, you may have enough money to spend without any difficulty. This is a good and peaceful time of your life. More generally, this card reflects happiness in all areas such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This card refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before see the perfection all around you. 
The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. Overall, this card represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The fifth card for you is representing your subconscious realm. The underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation. Your card is the Seven of Wands. You may have had a tough time in the past. You may have felt that you had to try hard to achieve your expectation or goals. At this time, you should be patient with the surrounding problems and people who are against you or who try to be your competitors. For work, you are tired but there is a chance to be successful and recognized by others. For finance, you may be tired of managing your cash flow as you do not have enough money to spend as you wish. For love, you still have conflict with your lover. This card can also indicate a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. The sixth card for you is representing, your immediate future. Your card is, the Six of Swords. Things or problems will be resolved by time gradually. Do not worry too much as you do not need to do anything. Just be patient and keep waiting. For work, situation will get better and you may have business trips. Your financial status will be improved gradually in a positive direction. For love. You may think of ending relationship which you will become stronger and recover by time. You will need to make a regretful transition, as a likely result of the decisions you make. You know that in order to move forward, you must leave something important behind, and while you do this with some regret, you know that in the long term it is the best option for you. There are times when you will be forced to let go of something to which you have been attached, and the process of letting go is often quite challenging. However, the sadness of your loss will soon be replaced by greater clarity, bringing about a renewed acceptance of change. Do not be afraid to let go of whatever it is that is holding you in the present or the past. Instead look to your future and choose the best option that has the greatest long-term potential. There are going to be some hard decisions and some compromises that you will need to make but this is ultimately a rite of passage that will take you into a new phase of your life. You need to realize that you are now headed towards a much better position in life. You have endured, 
or are currently enduring a difficult life transition but as a result, you will be more able to deal with what may come. Do not dwell on the past or what you have left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for changing your beliefs about yourself, moving away from whom you used to be and towards whom you really want to be. Sometimes the only way to solve life's problems is to leave them behind you and go somewhere new to start over. While it may feel as though you are giving up or being a coward, escape is often the only approach left when all others have failed. The important thing now is that you chart a new course that will lead to greater happiness and joy. The Six of Swords also shows the need to draw upon a state of mental clarity, logic and objectivity in order to examine where you have been and where you are going. This mental clarity will also serve to smooth the way ahead, and make the passage from negative to positive as peaceful as possible. You can use your intuition to guide you through easy situations and call upon your impartial and analytical nature when it is needed for a more complex decision. The seventh card for you is representing the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is the death. You will have a lot of stress, worry and pressure. During this time, you may be obsessed with the problem which will upset you a lot. It seems like the more you try to solve the problem, the more you get stuck in it. What you should do most is trying not to think of all problems at the same time. You should calm down and carefully consider that the problems are not as fatal as you think. And no matter how desperate you feel during this time, you will certainly be able to pass it through. This card is symbolic of the ending of a major phase or aspect of your life that may bring about the beginning of something far more valuable and important. You must close one door in order to open another. You need to put the past behind you and part ways, ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. It may be difficult to let go of the past at times but you will soon see how important it is so that you can bring renewal and transformation into your life. If you resist these necessary endings, you may experience pain, both emotionally and physically but if you exercise your creative imagination and visualize a new possibility, you allow more constructive patterns to emerge. Similarly, this card indicates a time of significant transformation, change and transition. You need to profoundly transform yourself and clear away any of the old in order to bring in the new. Any change at this time should be welcomed as a positive, cleansing, transformative force in your life. The death and clearing away of limiting factors can open the door to a wider, more satisfying experience of life. The death card contains elements of a sudden and unexpected change. You may feel as though you are caught in the path of sweeping change and cannot escape its effects. Though the immediate thought is toward the negative, an end need not mean failure. The loss could be a series of unexpected surprises that bring an end to a period of turmoil or problems. You feel you can no longer go along with the status quo and want things to change radically. Many changes are going to take place to enable a new direction to emerge. You also need to learn to let go of unhealthy attachments in your life to pave the way to a fuller, more fulfilled life of deeper meaning and significance. Death teaches you to let go of outworn and outgrown ways of life and move forward. This is a perfect card to use to break a bad habit or pattern of behavior. This is a time of eliminating excess and cutting out what is not necessary in your life. This may be a good time to purge old belongings, memories and baggage that is getting in your way. The eighth card for you is representing the external influences that can be the people energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is the Two of Wands. You may receive an opportunity about work from people around you. Also you may gain a new friendship at work. 
If you are finding a job, someone around you will refer a job to you. During this time, you will get good support and advices from people around you. For work, you may have a small conflict with your colleagues but you will be able to discuss and come to an understanding. You may feel frustrated by others' words but you should overlook it so that you will feel more relaxed. For love, the situation around you may lead you to meet with someone. This card is also about discovery, particularly as you step outside of your comfort zone and explore new worlds and new experiences. It may take some courage to take the first step but this card gives you the confidence of self-knowledge. You know what your goal is, what your creative process is directing for you, and you are confident in its eventual fulfillment. The Two of Wands indicates that you will begin to consider your longer term goals and aspirations and will plan ahead for what you need to do to achieve these goals. You have already come so far but now you feel it is ready for a change, this time with your long term future in mind. You may be considering overseas travel, further education or a major career change at this point in order to expand your learning and development, and to grow your horizons beyond your immediate environment. With careful planning, and a moderated approach, you will set yourself up for success in the future. You will also have to make some important decision of some sort. You are making a decision between sticking with what you know, or expanding your horizons and taking a risk. You know that the world has to offer you something bigger or more meaningful, yet you are also aware that in order to maximize on this opportunity, you must leave your familiar grounds. Even though you have already invested a lot into your current circumstances, for you to be able to grow and to maximize your potential. It is imperative that you step out into a new world and explore your options. This card shows the patience and focus of your intent. You have got the ball rolling and have started out on your journey, so now it is time to patiently wait for your rewards and watch as your ideas begin to materialize. The ninth card for you is representing, your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is the Ten of Swords. You will suffer deeply with the existing situation and find no way out as the problem turns for the worst and becomes too difficult to be solved. You may feel disappointed and upset. Your expectation is not achieved and you may feel discouraged and hopeless. You may pity yourself for being in the unpleasant situation and would like to get away from this pain. However, though you feel that you fall to the lowest level, it just could not get any worse than this. The Ten of Swords is often associated with feeling the victim in a situation. You may feel powerless as something comes to a crashing and sudden end, and you feel as if you are being attacked or backstabbed by someone else. This card also indicates a difficult experience of endings, loss, pain or release. However, the saving grace is that you have a new awareness and a positive sense of relief that the difficulty and pain will soon be over and will evolve into something new. As with all endings there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, and a rejuvenation of the spirit. So, while this card may seem negative at first glance, it is a card of help and an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. Furthermore, this is the final ordeal, and no more pain will come to you from that source. It is darkest before the dawn, and as gloomy as it looks, the sun will rise again. It can only get better from here. The Ten of Swords is also about letting go and accepting your current circumstances. You no longer resist change but allow it to happen, even if it causes some initial pain and hurt to you. You accept that there must be change in order to facilitate renewal, and you allow it to occur rather than fighting it. When this card appears after a painful situation, it is a signal to pick yourself up off the ground and to reflect upon what happened to you and why, and what you can learn from the experience. 
hidden deep beneath the surface of the Ten of Swords is the ultimate power of the sword suit, the ability to analyze the situation and your responses, and learn from yourself. True wisdom does not come from without but from within. The Ten of Swords is a sign that the pain and hurt you have endured has not gone without purpose. The positive power within you can be used to learn from your pain and draw wisdom from defeat. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the page of pentacles. The situation will change gradually. If you expect something, there will be a good start. You will learn new things in life such as a new job, a new society or new love. For work, if you get a new job you, you will need to adapt yourself to your colleagues because you dislike change and, thus, are not good at adaptation. For finance, you may have financial luck. You will receive money earned from your extra work or receive bonus. For love, if you are single, you will have a chance to meet new people but it is not certain if you will develop a relationship. If you are married, you will have a chance to have children. Overall, this is a card of dreams and the desire to manifest those dreams in the material world. You may be in the midst of a new project such as a hobby, business venture, or the beginning of a new educational experience. In any case, the page is a sign of enthusiasm and desire, focused around a goal or a dream. The card does not indicate the fulfillment of dreams as much as the initial motivation and energy to begin the process of creating those dreams in reality. Therefore, this card encourages you to begin to put in place clear plans and actions that will ultimately lead you to achieve your dreams and goals. This is a time when you need to be able to apply careful planning in order to manifest your dreams and achieve your goals. You need to remain focused on the practical and tangible elements, keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground and not getting carried away with more ideas and concepts but rather being focused on what is realistic and achievable. This is when your common sense and pragmatic approach will lead you to success and to finding a solution that actually works. Now is the time to start acting on all of those grand ideas and concepts that have been brewing in your imagination. Now is the time to make them real. The Page of Pentacles also asks you to grow and expand in a way that generates prosperity and wealth for the future. You are just at the beginning of a new project or venture that will require you to remain focused on tangible outcomes and results. Be clear on what skills and resources you will require in order to draw wealth and abundance to you. The Page of Pentacles has the desire to learn all things. He is dedicated to knowledge and the attainment of wisdom and new skills. He is devoted to all in which he is engaged and he has great concentration in his interests and pursuits. Thus, the appearance of this card suggests that success will come to you after you have mastered new skills and have set your mind to achieving specific, tangible goals. You may need to consider further study, expanding your skill sets at work, or learning completely new ways of doing things. Do not be afraid to be the apprentice again, even if you are a master of another domain. Think of those 70 year olds who enthusiastically start a university degree. The more skills you bring to your portfolio, the more goals and dreams you can achieve. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The Queen of Spring. The Queen of Spring is truly amazing. She can write up a marketing plan at work, throw a birthday party with 30 kids in attendance, volunteer for the local animal shelter, and somehow make it home in time to dress up for that formal event that's so important to her spouse. A devoted parent, she is graceful, intelligent, and lovely. And yet her most endearing attribute is that she is a true friend. She will be there for you no matter what and that's why everyone loves her. On the other hand, she can be a fierce competitor. An independent and strong leader, 
she likes to have things her way. Chances are very good that you'll agree with her ideas. But if you don't, you may have a challenging time getting her to come around to your point of view. The queen sits on her throne, carefully contemplating her next step. Her red dress indicates that she is very passionate about her plans, and she will not wait long before taking action. Additional meanings of this card, trusting in your own abilities. Showing grace under fire. Maintaining a balance between work and home. Being a good parent. The determination to succeed. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.